George Floyd's death has put a spotlight on police brutality, and it's also raised questions about when police officers should stop being bystanders and step in. But back in 2006 in Buffalo, New York, a black police officer did exactly that. Officer Cariel Horn stopped a white colleague from choking a suspect during an arrest. and She got fired for it. Officials at the time claimed that Officer Horn put her fellow officers at risk, including the white police officer whose chokehold she stopped. Well, now more than a decade later, the Buffalo City Council has voted to ask the state attorney general, Letitia James, to reinvestigate Horn's firing. Cariel Horn is joining me now. I want to thank you so much for being with us today um, because, you. you know, now you have a, a decade later, what a different view, right? I want to know what you thought as you watched the video of George Floyd. It was heartbreaking because I know that he did not have to die had one of those officers stepped in and intervened. And, you know, from my situation, I understand that I did stop um, the chokehold and he does live. So for me, it was really heartbreaking and I cried for two days trying to understand why no one would listen to me. Because if police brutality is the problem, then I figured out the solution, which would be Cario's law. You know, I should not have lost my pension for doing what was right. Yeah, you had served 19 years, right? You are one year shy of, of your pension. And I see your shirt there. It says George Floyd needed Cariel Horn. But you watched the video and there was no one, there was no one stepping in, right? And I wonder if you can tell us what it was like for you in that moment to make that decision. What, what, were, what was your thought process when you decided to step in? Well, I yelled to him. I said, Greg, you're choking him, thinking that, you know, whatever happened in the house, that he would, like, come back to reality and stop doing what he was doing. And he didn't stop, so I grabbed his arm from around Neil Mack's neck. And, you know, they fabricated a story, um, but, you know, I never jumped on his back, like they said. I simply grabbed his arm from around um, Neil Mack's neck, because Neil Mack was already handcuffed, so... There was enough officers there to control the situation. So what do you think, Cariel, should be done to or happen to officers who do not intervene? Well, like I said, under Cariel's law, they will be prosecuted because you would have the duty to intervene. You cannot stand around and watch someone kill someone, watch someone die you would have to intervene. And it would be a registry, so you can't go from department to department um, with a history of abuse. So that there's a way to track track folks, right, as they move from one area exactly. to another. Um, I, I wonder for you, you know, you are here, you, you made a decision at considerable personal penalty right to try to make sure that you save the life of somebody and then you watch that in minneapolis not happen i wonder what you think the message though was sent i'm sure police officers beyond where you work heard about you right what message was sent to police officers when you were fired for intervening the message was sent that you don't cross that blue line and so some officers uh, many officers don't you think it's changed, Cariel? I think that it's changing. I think that um, I am here to help change it. So that is why I thought of Cariel's Law, because I want to be the change. I don't want any officer to go through what I have gone through in, in order to save someone's life. Like, I lost everything. I have five children, and I lost everything. But Neil Mack did not lose his life. So if I have nothing else to live for in life, at least I can know that I did the right thing and that Neil Mack still breathes. Can I ask you really quickly, Cariel, are you, mm -hmm. are you feeling good about the chance that your good name could be restored and that you might be able to receive your pension? Yes. I, I hope that the mayor 
does the right thing. Um, because, like I said, no officer should go through what I've gone through for doing the right thing. Carrie O'Horn, thank you so much for joining us from Buffalo. Thank you.